you were responsible for her death. You wished her dead, and she died. As all will die whose debts you wish, as well as those whose lives you would spare. So their deaths are your fault, too, because you failed them. Add to them others killed through your negligence, under your sign, on your behalf, those abandoned or never adopted by you. To you, also, the guilt of those who were your tools, confronted by their faces, legs, arms and voices joined together, their work not done, dishes in the sink, undischarged obligations. He died in the battle, then fear and sadness infected my milk. My baby died. On the boardwalk, I died when you turned your car into the crowd. I died in a cage. You don't even recognize them. They look like different people. If there remain some few, whose deaths you did not cause, think about what your ancestors did to get your nice things, which have been your nice things for so long they really are not very nice. Build a monument, hire a choir, do not think, do not remember, not today, do not let my guilt cause my death. Never quite convinced artists of bourgeois guilt that nice things are nicer than nasty ones. Learn to enjoy atoning for your inheritance, being held upside down or bound by a fire. Will this expiate your pleasure soon dissolved in guilt because now you are taking pleasure in the worst thing you have done? I wake up. My body doesn't. I can't move. I think. I can't breathe because my body is running the sleep breathing program, not letting me control my own breathing. I hallucinate someone who sits on my chest and stifles my breath. Once it was the chicken pox, a man who said, I will always be part of you. Another time it was Renee from school. I felt her fingers close around my throat. I am not Renee, she whispered, disguising her voice, in the hands of an angry god, with one hand being held and with the other held to the fire. I thought it might be you. I knew it was you when I heard your voice. What you said was similar to the chicken pox. I am still with you. After you spoke, I regained motor control. The hallucination ended. Was it my cat or the devil? Weight settles on me. Is this sleep? May I please have your attention? We are going to attempt a spiral dive. This maneuver is well within the technical capabilities of the machine. Did you really think that tone was going to be more difficult to interpret in electronic writing than in other writing? Tone is difficult to interpret when you remove its identifying marks. The little formalities that we have removed were instituted to clarify tone in writing expressions of fidelity, flourishes, ornaments, oaths. Without them, what is left? Crudeness, vulgarity, sarcasm. That is your tone. I am not writing what is called documentary poetry. I am not writing what is called lyric essay. I am not writing baby talk for a grown-up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can put anything in a book of poems and no one will notice. <laughs> but even when he talks, half the words come out in quotation marks. I used to exaggerate some features of the story, both how it happened and how I responded. When I write plainly, 
I see how it would appear to another person. It would appear that I made it happen. I did not see it until I wrote it, or I did see it because I wrote it. I have no idea what this guy's sexuality is. He's willing to share any pointless or personal information, but not that. And couldn't he be writing more books? Better books? He's writing the books even what he's good at. Now and then, he writes an essay, or poem, or says something clever. Surely he could do better. <laughs> Roar of the engine. The shape that books have in your head is the same shape that bikes have in that man's head. <laughs> the shape is freedom. Anyone who tried to take that shape away? Tyranny. In any display of power, there are opportunities for reversal because you depend on me. I know something you don't. Or you relax and you become for one second vulnerable. Even my competence may lend an air of mastery, much more incompetence, because my clumsy limbs resist taking commands. Blocked? Sort of. The trouble is that he gets so turned on by what he is going to write, he has to bring himself to climax quickly, before putting down a single word. After that happens, there is little point in continuing. <laughs> Effectively, Yes, he is blocked. <laughs> Jewelry looks painfully cold to me, although I know metal conducts heat. The watch strapped to your arm is as warm as your arm. The shining wall you build around your vulnerable mechanism as vulnerable. It's not you, it's me. Even in the absence of all other attractions, playing hard to get, is seductive. They extend their provisions with games. They use games in place of food on alternate days and make their food last twice as long. The same food, the same games, in the same order, every other day. Parts of your life can't help bleeding together. Dream of withdrawing $900 from a bank machine which is impossible, like secretly trying to pass a note handwritten by yourself to yourself. Or when you swallow a pill, careful you don't swallow the wrong thing, some fixtures in your mouth are going to be sucked down. The main thing is to protect his name. Anything you want to do with his name is fine, just don't mention socialism. Too bad, because he commands legions, not because you could store food in him. If you want to study something, it helps to move away from it. In the same way, I stopped going out with women in order to study them, on the principle that you should not be sexual with anyone you are trying to judge objectively. <laughs> Nor would you really want to confuse objectivity with ignorance. I know you so well, I can see patterns, also exceptions that I can explain, only I do not know where anything is on the body. I never knew. <laughs> Cutting? No. Joining. That's what you're doing. Deleting the middle fuses the remainder. Is there more to thinking than connecting one thing to another, and reason is finally circular? connecting a thing to itself, and the most elegant reasoning wastes fewest steps. You told me that I had no soul, so I knew that I was talking to the devil who collects souls, but never quite credits the real existence of the human soul. The devil, who knows me only from outside, who knows everything about this world, but doesn't know anything that isn't in this world. What you see is all there is. Despite shocking ineptitude in six ways that I can recall, my first feeling about my time with you 
is pride, and seeing you the best piece of my good fortune. Mother made me by removing her luminous beauty from one area of her body, earth, where her foot fell, cooled, and hardened around the dent, impression left by a fingernail in the skin of an apple. I never grew, but more and more of the beauties she had in me dwindled, teeth seeming to lengthen showing their roots as the gums recede, just a piece of mother with all her treasures kept back. On my tongue, the edge of an unpleasant flavor that I instinctively knew to be death. A proud and overprotective parent of the one thing she had invented, she rather enjoyed seeing her blood go about in a different shape. My sweet mother, Proud of all that I kept hidden, deeply moved, or merely chewing, I learned early to hear the sound of coughing with unconcern, merely a cut through which you may see a short distance into her face, and that's her mouth, uniformly silver, a cold color in hair, green eyes blanched gray, where I learned to seek happiness in a woman's glance. She burned through the earth when she divided her store of beauties from her substance. The remainder froze, and she froze the remover, as alike as one of the halves of an apple to the other. Could two faces make a third face by friction of one mouth against another? Could one face split into two copies of itself and I, their mirror, now told apart by temperature, or the notch in the ear, or just by pointing, of luminous beauty, her defining feature absent from your composition, a seemingly casual mention. I looked up from a fiery outline, her face held warring energies in check, sovereign and ecstatic. I would have enjoyed saying that my forehead was hotter than her iron, but truthfully, I guess, it wasn't, since the brand left a visible scar. I love women.